Very hard video to watch. There's police brutality, trigger warning. Also trigger warning, Arkansas. Yeah, I can show it. There's no blood. It's just a fucking insane... In, get another insane instance Three of brutality. Let's take a look. Arkansas law enforcement officers have been removed from duty after this video showing them hitting a man outside a store in Mulberry, Arkansas was posted to social media. The officers are seen punching and kneeing the suspect repeatedly and later arresting him. In the video, a woman not seen can be heard screaming to stop beating him, telling the officers he needs his medicine. An officer points and yells at her to back up. The person who posted the video says, That was the... They were slamming his head against the concrete. You know, just boys being boys, cops being cops, pigs being pigs. Look at this part. An though. officer points and yells at her. That shit's crazy. He's like, like, I'm coming for you too, motherfucker. Like, literally. This is how they operate. This is how they fucking operate, dude. Look at this. They know they're being filmed. They do it anyway because they feel like they know that there's not going to be any fucking accountability coming for them. Then they're like, yeah, you're fucking next. Her to back up. The person who posted the video says her sister witnessed the altercation. The two Crawford County deputies were suspended and the Mulberry police officer placed on administrative leave while the incident is investigated. Police say the man in the video is 27-year-old Randall Worcester of Goose Creek, South Carolina. They accuse him of threatening and spitting on a gas station attendant in a nearby town. The clerk then called the police. Worcester then rode a bike to the County Express convenience store in Mulberry, where he was arrested outside the store. One witness tells CNN affiliate KHBS it looked like the man got up to run away to avoid arrest, but the sheriff claims he got up to attack an officer. Worcester is being held at the county jail on multiple charges, including first-degree assault and second-degree battery. It's unclear whether he has an attorney. The Crawford County What do you mean it's unclear if he has an attorney? Does this motherfucker look like he has an attorney, bro? Terroristic threatening, by the way. They fucking hit him with, like, literally everything they could. Like, judging by what the fuck was going on there, it's something that you've probably seen already. Maybe not the police brutality side, but, like, it's another dude who's, like, lost their fucking minds um, behaving in an insane way, and instead of dealing with it by, uh, you know, sending in a social worker... Knows how to deal with these sorts of circumstances. Could technically go there and, and provide the adequate mental health uh, uh, treatment that this person clearly fucking needs. They send in the cops because there's no one else to go uh, in a situation like this. And then the cops do what cops do best, which is beat the shit out of their... F uh, beat the shit out of the dude. Okay. And then they fucking uh, threw the book at him, too. And second-degree battery. It's unclear whether he has an attorney. The Crawford County Sheriff's Office released a statement writing, I hold all my employees accountable for their actions and will take appropriate measures in this matter. Get the fuck out Arkansas of here. Governor Asa Hutchinson tweeted, The local arrest incident in Crawford County will be investigated pursuant to the video evidence and the request of the prosecuting attorney. Now, Worcester was hit with a number of charges, including assault and resisting arrest. But this is an incident that's going to take a lot of investigation. The sheriff's office says a state investigation was opened into what will be limited to the physical force used here against the officers involved. Only once that's done could it be referred to a county prosecutor for any potential charges. Commissioner, thank you very much for being here. I mean, that's a question. Right. What's necessary. And there's a lot we don't know. We don't know uh, really what we we can't see what happened. But Dude, what do you mean? There is no situation where that kind of like ass whooping is, is necessary. What? How are you going to find a situation where you're like, oh, well, we don't know the full situation. What do you mean? They already apprehended him. What the fuck are you talking about? That's a that's one of those videos where it's like you don't need to really know much more like he could have literally tried to fucking do an act of terrorism and he doesn't like a normal civilized society that has apprehended that criminal if they were like an actual fucking terrorist wouldn't have to like pummel their uh, skull in like that's crazy
They're fucking kicking him. They're slamming his head against the concrete. It's just concrete. It just doesn't matter. There's no... There is no fucking protocol. The media is morally culpable for these kinds of uh, police brutality incidents when they try to find a, a, a situation where that is normal. There is no situation where three fucking officers standing on top of a dude are beating the living shit out of him, grabbing him by the fucking skull, and bashing it into the concrete. That's not a thing. There is no situation that is justifiable. That's it. You violated it. This is not like a fucking police shooting situation where, like, did the guy directly shoot at them and then the cops had to shoot back? It's not even like that. You see it. The video itself very clearly shows, like, the dude is fucking kneeing him. One dude is kneeing him. The other dude is grabbing his fucking skull and ramming it against the concrete. Like, what the fuck do you mean? Before that video begins, however... Is there any scenario in which a response like that would be proportional and necessary? Well, good morning, Poppy. Uh, it's clear from the video there was excessive force used. Um, no matter what happened beforehand, um, the, the, the aggressive uh, punching and, and pushing uh, the defendant's uh, head into the ground is, is just inexplainable, uh, unexplainable. It's... it's uh, it, it's frustrating to see something like that happen yeah, after so all that's gone on. You, you know, as someone who's been in the... Bro, look at this ballerina ass motherfucker. My man's doing reverse single leg raises, bro. Look at this guy. That's the most flexible cop in the entire fucking state of Arkansas, motherfucker. Look at that. Oh, man, it's just, uh, it's crazy. So far outside the realm of what police action looks like normally. It's like, no, it's not. This happens all the fucking time. Just because it's not a fucking another police murder doesn't change that reality. Profession, you just wonder you, to yourself, when is this going to stop? But it's also a, a really important lesson about body cameras. It, there was a study done that body cameras on police officers not only improve the officer's conduct, but improve the conduct of the individual that they're interacting with. So yeah. uh, I wonder, you know, where those cameras are, why they they weren't on the officers, and if the presence of those cameras might have made a difference in this situation. There is, as you know, Ed, Ed Davis, training for officers to, to sub subdue uh, someone that they're trying to arrest if that person is resisting arrest. And, and, and what caught my attention in particular w w was the repeated punching to the head and even it appeared banging his head on the pavement. And I just wonder in any training that, that you've experienced, uh, ha has that ever been part of the training? Is it ever part of the training to do that to sub subdue a suspect? Yeah. Not in a situation like that. There can be no explanation for for the, 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 the vicious punching and the and the slamming of the defendant. I love that he's like, yeah, there could be a situation where you could repeatedly pummel someone's skull in. But not this one. How about no, man? How about no? That's fucking psychotic. Uh, head into the ground. The, that that particular officer has clearly acted outside the bounds of what's of what's right. Uh, but but the what you know what I'd like to stress is that it, 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 when when you have situations like this where you have anger and and you have adrenaline that that, that is that is playing a role in this, uh, the officers uh, will do things sometimes that are that are outside their training. It's not acceptable. It has to be trained out. But it's very difficult to do that among young men who are engaged in that kind of a, a combat situation. And, um, you know, the, the punching uh, it can, can happen. An officer can punch people, uh, but only if they're being attacked at that particular time in a means, uh, in, in a way to defend themselves. Yeah. What I saw there on the ground just was not appropriate. Well, Ed Davis, you've commanded police in Boston. Thanks for sharing your experience with us this morning. Boys just can't control themselves, you know? Cops are just... That's how cops are, you know what I mean? That's, this is how cops be like.
just can't stop. They can't stop themselves. Adrenaline kicks in. Boys will be boys, dude.